everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable picture holders. And the best part is I am going to be utilizing an item from a previous crafting haul from the dollar store or the 99 cent store. Super cute, super fun, super budget friendly. So let's get crafting and let me show you what all you need for this project. Today we're using these glass candlestick holders. They were from my crafting haul from the 99 cent store. And you know, I'll leave the link in the description box below to that video if you wanna see some of the items that I bought from the 99 cent store for upcoming crafting videos that I have to come. But for now, we're using these. You need to buy one or two of these glass candlestick holders. You're also gonna need two pieces of wood in the measurements of five and a quarter by five and a quarter for this piece five and a quarter by three and a half for this piece. At the end of this video, I have another real cute idea. So while you're out there cutting your wood or having your wood cut, cut another piece at seven inches long. The wood that I'm using for this is a wood picket, like one of the panels that you would use for making your own fence that you can get at your local hardware store, either Lowe's, Ace, or Home Depot. And these, I believe, are $1.16 a piece for a five and a quarter wide by six foot long wood picket for a fence. So that's the wood that I'm using for this. You're also going to need some Minwax stain. This stain does not have polyurethane in it. It's just the cheap Minwax stain. And the colors that I'm using today are the driftwood and the dark walnut. I kind of made my own concoction for a color because I really, really love the driftwood, but it's a little bit light and the dark walnut can be a bit dark. So I added just a touch of the dark walnut to the driftwood just to darken up the driftwood a bit. And that's what I'll be using for my staining today. You're also gonna need my favorite craft cord, some wired burlap ribbon. I've got the cream and the traditional beige here and it is two and a half inches wide. You're also gonna need a piece of wood doweling. You don't need a very big piece, but this is my stash and so I use this whenever I need it and so we won't even need more than two and a half inches of one of these sticks. You're also gonna need the miniature size clothespins, not the smallest ones. I believe these are about an inch and a half long, and that's the size I'm using. You can use just the plain raw wood, untreated wood, and that's what I'll be using as well. Or you can get creative and use some decorative ones. So first and foremost, I am going to take my wood pieces and I am going to sand them. I wanna get them as smooth as I can, so I have already sanded the three and a half inch piece here so I need to sand these and get them as smooth as I can get them and once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and stain them with the Minwax stain that I've created and like I said again it is the driftwood with just a touch of dark walnut in it to get the color that I'm using today. While our wood stain is drying we're going to move on to the next step of this project which is the base of our picture holder and that is where we will be using these glass candlestick holders. I'm only gonna be using one today because I'm gonna make the shorter of the picture holders. If you wanna make the taller one, which you saw in the thumbnail or in the beginning of this video, you'll do that by taking two of your glass candlesticks. You can use a permanent cement adhesive, which is the E6000, or you can use your hot glue gun and hot glue the top of these candlesticks together, which then will make it the taller of the two picture holders that you saw in the beginning of the video. Why stop at using a glass candlestick holder when you can use a glass ice cream sundae bowl? That's what I did with this picture holder was use the ice cream sundae bowl. Something new and fun. I also saw the dollar store had these small mini carafes. Just wrap it in craft cord. It gives it that rustic shabby chic look as well. So I'm gonna start off at the bottom of the glass candle. And I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a dot of glue here at the very base of it. And I am going to place my cord. And I'm gonna take the glue gun and I'm gonna go 
just a couple inches at a time because you don't want your glue to dry. And I am going to continue wrapping it around Once you get to the beginning, you're just going to go right up over it and do a second row all the way around. So our candlestick is nice and covered. It is time for the next step. Our wood is dry from the stain. So we are going to take the three and a half inch by five and a quarter inch piece and it is going to be the base of our picture holder. So we are going to either hot glue this or E6000 glue this onto the top of our candlestick holder and I'm just going to use hot glue because hot glue proves to work just fine for me. So I'm going to take and I'm going to just generously coat the top of this with hot glue and I am going to center my three and a half inch piece on top. So now we're going to take the five and a half inch piece of wood that we're left with and we are going to hot glue it onto the base of the three and a half inch piece of wood that we just hot glued onto our covered candlestick. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to put a nice bead along the bottom edge here. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it spilling out. And I'm just going to place it right in the middle there and this is what we have isn't that cute for the bow I'm going to use this wired burlap I'm gonna cut about a six inch piece of burlap off then I'm gonna cut about a quarter inch piece as well I'm gonna take my burlap I'm going to fold it in half. I'm not going to crease it. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut in a triangle and I'm folding it in half so my cuts in will be symmetrical with each other. We open it up and that's what we're left with. We're going to grab our hot glue gun again, our small piece of burlap, and we are going to take this bigger piece and we're going to just gently kind of accordion fold it into the middle here. And without burning yourself, go ahead and place some glue into those folds to help keep it together. Then I'm going to take my quarter inch piece and I am going to wrap it around the center by first putting a dot of glue here and I'm just going to wrap it right around the center. I also stained my one and a half inch miniature clothespin. I'm going to take and hot glue my bow right onto the clothespin. Now we're going to take our bow and clothespin and we are going to hot glue it to the top. And I'm going to place it right in the middle. And there you have it, our dollar store candlestick picture holder. 
Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love these. I have these around my house because they're just as rustic and shabby chic as you can get. And I just love the burlap. I love the look of the craft cord on the base. And I just think that these are just adorable. And they also make such a fun birthday gift. I gave my best friend Ashley a set of these for her birthday this past year. And I did the, the height differences. I did the single candlestick and I did a double one for her. So she had the two different sizes and she absolutely loved it. I also told you at the beginning of the video that I had another quick idea for you. I think it's another super cute idea that I have around my house as well to display pictures because I just, you know, I get bored of displaying my pictures in a frame all the time. It's fun to display them other ways other than picture frames. So this one is super easy. You're gonna take that seven inch piece of wood that you stained or didn't stain and you are going to use another clothespin. You can stain a miniature clothespin or you can decorate one. I've taken the miniature clothespins, I've gotten scrapbook paper, and I've mod podged scrapbook paper onto the front and back of these miniature clothespins just to add some character to them. And so today I think I'm gonna use one of these because I think that they're just super fun. And I am going to use the aqua. So we are going to take our miniature clothespin. We're going to take our hot glue gun. We are going to put just a dab at the bottom of our clothespin. Once you've got your clothespin hot glued on, you're gonna take your wood downing stick and you're gonna cut about a one and a half inch piece of dowling. So once you've got your dowling cut, you're gonna go ahead and flip this over and you're gonna go about an inch and a half up you're gonna go right into the middle. You're gonna take your drill with a drill bit on it and you are going to drill just a small hole for your dowling to go into. And you kinda of wanna go in an angle and you don't wanna go all the way through. Once you've got your hole, you're gonna take your dowling your hot glue gun, and you are going to place some hot glue on the tip of your dowling, and you are going to stick your dowling in that hole. Our dowling is good and dry, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to flip it back over. I've taken a four by six picture, and I've just cut a real cute piece of scrapbooking paper at four and a half by six and a half, just a bit bigger than the picture, And there you go, another way to display a picture other than a picture frame. If you want, you can glue the scrapbooking paper on to the wood or Mod Podge it, but I don't because maybe I wanna switch the picture up and change the background of the scrapbooking paper. You know, it just leaves you more options. And there you have it, two super fun, cute, easy ways to display pictures other than picture frames. I love these ideas. I think they're super fun. I love having them around my house. And I hope you like this idea too. Please everybody give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And hey, if you try any of my crafting ideas from my videos, please follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can post pictures of your creations on my Facebook page. I love to see them. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now.